All right, we're continuing the assembly today. I've got my cam. I've sent my cam off to get reground for a turbo grind at Clive Cams. So this is going to go in engine next. Let's lube it up. Got some brand new lifters, gonna soak them in oil for a bit before we put them in. All right, I've got the oil top apart. I'm just gonna give it a good lubing before it goes back together. Just giving it a good clean. Put a bit of oil here, we'll just test the oil pump quickly, make sure oil flows through it. There we go. Okay. Sorry guys, my footage of installing the timing chain and everything under the timing chain cover got corrupted. So my GoPro's on the way out. So you've missed that part. All right, I've got all the head bolts in. I had a uh, stubborn one. I think the thread was a bit, um, how are you going? Uh, these, these head studs are from a 20 valve, oh sorry, yeah, 20 valve 4AGE. Um, so they're slightly longer than the standard um, 7k ones so I just want to make sure it went down so I got enough clamping force to keep the head down uh, it's still checked out in size but I might give this one a bit of a, uh, a pull out and clean up in the thread and, and re-tap it if you can just see it's sitting probably can't see just sitting slightly higher by a couple of mil uh, but it's still pretty good so I think that's good enough to throw the push rods in they're just being cleaned out and put the head on and then we can start working on all the assembly on top of the head. I managed to get my hands on a factory Toyota head gasket. Um, I've got an aftermarket here which I got with a rebuild kit. Uh, they look about the same quality. Funny enough, the aftermarket one is a little thicker. Um, but I'm going to try with the factory Toyota one first. I've heard it's like recommended to use it and it lasts pretty good under boost. Uh, so we're going to give this a go. Well, I've got a bit of an issue the valve rocker arm um, and assembly and um, first issue is I'm missing two bolts to bolt it down and second the manual shows it's got an adjuster nut on the little uh, rocker arms and mine don't and I just can't bloody remember in case I pinch this from somewhere else or mix it up with I've got another spare 4k head so just going to find out what's happening and I think I've used two of the bolts somewhere on that cover so I've got to sort that out first. I found out the problem, I'm an idiot. Uh, six of the bolts bolt to the rocker assembly under the rock cover, two of the bolts hold on Sorry, 
yeah, two of the bolts hole in the rock cover. Lucky I had a spare 4K head here. I just realized that um, these two bolts hold in the rock cover. So, yeah, I didn't look at the manual. But I did notice um, on this 4K head, you can adjust the rocker arms here. And on the 7K rocker arm, you don't have that adjustment. So, uh, the manual says it's got an adjuster. So, I just don't know what that means. I'll look into it. But I'm going to see if I can bolt it on now and fit it all up. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I'm struggling to get this rocker, these rock, this uh, rocker arm down. So I think when I've serviced this and cleaned all the parts and put it back together, I may have put in the locking parts the wrong way. Um, maybe because there's little notches in the shaft which allows you to put the bolts through. So I'm going to pull it apart, but. I think I've had enough of today. Uh, sometimes when you have an issue, it's good just to walk away from it, come back fresh, fix it up another day. Well, I'm gonna put this pulley back on. If I took off to check the bolt. So I've made this tool, so hopefully that's going to hold, it's only out of aluminium, to hold the crank as I torque it up. Yeah, fail. Well, that tool I made was useless because it just bloody bent out of uh, soft aluminium, so I'm going to do a bit more research on how to tighten this up without the right tool or I have to get the right tool. Rocker assembly all went on. So that's pretty good. Just going to torque up any bolts um, that I may have missed. Torque up the crank pulley uh, and then we've got to get the sump on. Probably put the manifold on, see where the turbo is sitting. I've got to weld the bung onto the sump and then we can bolt the sump on. All right, I've worked out how to lock the uh, crank pulley. One of the legends of the K engine uh, build page on Facebook uh, said just to put a couple of flywheel bolts in the back of a breaker bar. It's just breaking up against the engine stand and that's it. All right, I've just racked on the uh, exhaust manifold bolt on turbo just want to see where the oil drain is going to go so then we can drill the sump um, put a, a bung in the side uh, and then we can paint this sump and get it on all right that's the position that's my bung got to drill this out and weld that on Sound right, boy. All right, bungs welded on. And gave it a lick of paint. Let that dry. Pop her on, and then we'll finish up that rock cover. All right, I got the rock cover cleaned up. It was bloody filthy. There was that much muck underneath here. I'll put a picture if I've got one. Um, so I've got that cleaned up. I've also got where the breather and PCVR, I've got some aluminium AN fittings put in there, welded on by an aluminium welder. Definitely my welding skills aren't up to it, so uh, we are now going to paint it uh, and get it ready to put on the engine. Right. 
Right, cover gasket on. I'm gonna put the end points on. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna lift this thing up on some straps and uh, put the remain on. It sound right, boy. All right, the remain is on. Now I'll just do a few other things on this side of the engine. I've got to put the uh, old mechanical fuel pump lock off plate on. You can get these at uh, V-Roll online slash shop. Uh, links below if you want to buy these and support the channel. Uh, I'm also going to put the Dizzy on. Um, I'm going to put the old 4K Dizzy on with points because I know that worked the last engine. I'm not too sure the electronic Dizzy or the uh, one that came in the engine, how that's going to wire up. At least I can get that started and work that out later on. basically finishing this up just about the last bolt in the engine and it snapped off boys away try and get that out now oh it's a whole fucking stud no i'm an idiot i didn't realize that there's a big stud up against there it's got to come out, which means the whole pan's got to come out. And I've bent the pan. Yay! I found a stud. Uh, I think it's from a from the water pump um, belt. So I'm gonna same size. Don't have a locating um, part for the gasket, but I'm gonna risk it. I'll put a bit of goo in there. Hopefully that seals it off. And yeah, that'll do the job. Alright, I forked out and got some iridium plugs. I've gone one step colder. Hopefully that improves with the boost. Um, so we'll pop them in. Please. 7k engine I was gonna um, hopefully get this in the car but my flywheel uh, and clutch is being bounced to the machine shop which is taking longer than usual and everyone's pumped to see the next video so thanks for your comments uh, so that's it for this video next video we're getting this thing in the car getting all the accessories on alternators starter motor gearbox Maybe make some catch cans. We've got a lot of things to do in engine bay, plumbing, radiator. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.